Sekarang saya akan menjemput An NGO guy I think most of you, some of you know him also A fierce Fiery speaker Saudara Wong Chin Hoan Good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, I believe this is a multi-ending crowd so I will speak in English first before I turn to Chinese Ladies and gentlemen, the wind of change is blowing From north to south, from east to west The wind of change is blowing, we are the age of making history Now what history are we talking about? We may no longer after tomorrow be divided as Bumi Putra and non Bumi Putra. We have the power to end Bumi Putraism. Why? Because today only Malays in Amno like Kairi Jamaluddin who say we need to extend NAP. We need to expand NAP. Malays like Anwar Ibrahim, Malays in past. Malay in that year like Raja Petra and Haris Ibrahim and most of the Malays who do not gain from Bumi Putraism do not want to keep NEP. What they want is a welfare state that protects everyone when you are poor and when you are in need. A welfare state is what we need. We need Negara Kebajikan, not Negara Perkawan. And you can end that because for BN, the psychological threshold is its total. 18 years ago, Malaysian, especially the Chinese Malaysians, stood up and said they back off. At the end, only 47% of the voters would for a position. That was not enough to deny two thirds, let alone to topple the government, but it was enough to force BN to wake up. What did we get? At that time, MCA representation was the lowest. Out of 32 seats, they won only 17 seats. Out of 9 seats contested by Gurakan, they won 5. Now, according to the logic, you read everywhere in the newspaper, the Chinese would have been at its worst then. Did that happen? No. Three months after the election, what do we get? We get Wawasan 2020. UMNO partially abandoned its ethnic policy. We have the open up of the higher education sector, we have the open up of cultural policy. And that was because a word 18 years ago, boldly voting for the opposition. Ladies and gentlemen, if then our Malay friends were with us, we would have changed it. We would have ended the militarism then. <coughs> 1999, nine years later, our Malay friends were willing and ready to change, but the MCA Wanita going around telling auntie, make sure you keep some more rice at home, you keep noodles making me at home because tomorrow there will be riot. That held the Chinese back. We saved Amno. What did we get? Chris Moodin raised his curries three consecutive years. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what Amno repay your favor for saving them. Oh. As in 2004, in 1999, they called Suchu, compared Suchu to communists and Al Mahona. They threatened to burn down the Chinese Assembly Hall. That's the way they re repay your favor. In 1999, in 2004, you voted in Abdullah with all your enthusiasm, enthusiasm and Hishamuddin replaced, reward you with his courage. And Make no mistake, Hishamuddin was not actually elected from a Malay seat. He came from a big seat where the non Malays make out 51%. And with that kind of words, they dare to, he dared to show the courage. Why? Because the government was so strong, he feels there's nothing to stop him. He believes that at the end of the day, he can eliminate the Chinese and the Indians, and MC and Gerakan and MIC would go around and get the Nambanese to work for him. He believed that he need not to pay any price. That's the same thing what Kairi Jamaluddin is doing today. Ladies and gentlemen, in Malaysia, 
Remember, the law for BN politics is not I scratch your back, you scratch my back. The law is no pain, no gain. No pain for them, no gain for you. That's why in 1999, like 1990, when you incur a pain on them, they give you our son 2020. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 39 years, we are at the age to deny BN tutor. That is possible because, different from 1990 and 1999, this time you have the Indians walking on the street boldly, 50 years, first time in the 50 years. And you remember, before the Hindra rally, November 10, Malaysians of different ethnic background, majority of them Bumiputra, walk on the street, demand a free and fair elections. The Malay has stood up, the Indian has stood up, and people have been asking, where are the Chinese? Now, last night, you got the answer. In Penang, 60,000 people flooded Hanjiang School. Every ending group standing up. If it's not, do you think that we can't deny the end to that? Yeah. Yeah, we, can. we can. We can. That's the message we can. But, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. You have to remember past 12 midnight tonight, the gate of the hell would break loose, the phantom would come on earth, and they would join you to work tomorrow. Yes. Yes. You need to bring enough human beings to outnumber the phantoms, otherwise PJ Utara will lose and uh, <coughs> Wing Sun will lose at the state seats as well. The goals will determine our government and the government need not to be accountable to Malaysians who are living. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you must remember this message. Politics is not about mercy. It's not about charity. It's not about whether you want to give a particular politician a career, love life, or whatsoever. Their blessing is their blessing. It's not your top priority. Your top priority is to take care of your own interests and welfare. That's what you should work for. That's what you work for. Election is a job interview. When the job applicants come to ask for your job, all you need to consider is whether they are competent to fulfill your job requirement, not about whether they can have a better job or not. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, this time, when you sit in front of the TV, you may find that maybe as many as 74 seats will elect in opposition members. Now, now, 74 seats is not enough, it's exactly one third in a parliament with 222 members. Yeah. It is not enough to deny the two thirds. To deny the two thirds, you need the 75th seat. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not there to make your work count and meaningful, pigeon off maybe the 75th seat that opposition lose. Yeah. Then, you will be the whole reason why we cannot deny the ends to that. Then, Pigeon Utara people will remember you are the Amno savior, you are the Bumiputraism savior. When even the Malays, when our Malay brothers and sisters want to do that away, our Malay brothers and sisters say, we want a new Malaysia. The past, bygone be bygone. We can be a new nation regardless of our skin color and faith. We can be one. The choice is in everywhere. You are at the age of making a history. Yes. Everyone else is at the age of making a history. If there are 74 seats tomorrow night that will book in the opposition, make sure Peter Odara is not the one that denied the 75th. Yes. Yes. Make sure Peter Odara is part of the 75. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we must speak in the same language no matter what number we have. Would you join me to shout?
全军，不做非土族，不做非土族。各位，你的一票，可能决定我们下一代的未来。因为国政三十九年来从来没有面对这样危险的情境。九零年当华人要求建立两县制的时候，马来人害怕；九九年马来人要求 reformation 的时候，华人害怕